Well, hello and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> it's been a while, it's been two years. I recorded one video and it basically never went anywhere. And I decided that I wanted to try again. So here I am today doing a new video in 2022. And for today's video, I am going to review five perfume testers Therefore, five perfume reviews. So let's go. <laughs> These five perfume testers I uh, received when I placed an order through a company called Libertine, or could be Libertine, um, depending on your pronunciation. And I thought, I mean, I'm not in any way a perfume connoisseur in the sense that I could rattle off uh, fragrant notes for you and you know um, you know start finish and end notes and things like that but it is certainly through my own experience watching YouTube and noticing that I am more and more watching perfume videos and really enjoying them and let's be honest most people who are into beauty and makeup which I am myself um, really enjoy perfume as well so um, I was really lucky to receive these five samples and so thank you very much Libertine for sending them to me and that's why I have the idea to do this video today. So I'm going to go through each one. I haven't smelt these before. <laughs> um, so they, I may not like any of them. Um, actually, I lie. There is one that I've put in here that I have smelt before. Spelt. <laughs> smelled before and I really enjoyed it so um, I'm going to leave that one to the end and as I go through each one I'm going to obviously smell the perfume I'm going to refer to the website um, Libertine's website and read off some information for you and the reason why I'm doing that is like I said I'm not a perfume connoisseur and you just magically uh, you know spurt out um, what perfumes are what and things like that but um, based off a, a YouTube video that I did watch um, from Samantha March and if you know her please follow her and if she's watch, watching this video <laughs> or if she ever does um, shout out to you Samantha because I watched your video where you talked about your perfume collection and you read off the notes and things like that off her website and it was hilarious so um, I thought I'd do that myself so I'm going to start off with the first one and I'm going to put my glasses on as well so there's that if you don't like that you know whatever <laughs> and the first one I'm going to do is perfume it's called well it's from the perfume house called perfumes de Mali very fancy because anyone who knows that name would know these I mean, they're very popular perfumes as far as I can tell <laughs> looking at YouTube channels and there's a couple that I know are very popular. Um, this actual sample is called Melora and if I butcher any names, then you can tell me in the comments below if you want to um, and I will ignore you <laughs> because... Um, like I said, this is very new to me in the sense of reading off these names and perfumes and things like that. So, yeah, don't be too mean. So, like I said, Melora, this is the perfume. Now, I don't have any, and I probably should have thought of that before I started the video, and I did think of it before, but now I'm like, whatever. I do not have any perfume boards cardboards you know those little things that people use so what I'm going to do is I have a piece of paper here if you want to butcher me for that you can I don't mind but I'm going to spray it on the perfume on the perfume <laughs> I'm going to spray it on the paper um, to see what it smells like because this is the first time I've smelt this perfume and then I'm going to read the notes for you and we'll go from there so this is number one um, and like I said perfumes de Mali Melora and here we go <laughs> let's smell it so i'll try not to spray it on my laptop that i have in front of me that's probably a very good idea i think oh 
guess I spread it through times because it's really hard to get out. Mm. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Straight away, I like it. Um, how do I describe it? Without, I'm, I mean, I can read the notes in front of me, but I'm trying not to look at them before I give you that um, information. It's fruity. It's very fresh. It's very bright. Um, yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah, it's straight away, like, I'm just going to spray it again on the other side and see. Yeah, it straight away just smells really um, sweet and fresh like fruit. Um, some sort of, um, is it black currant? I don't think it is, but some that kind of smell to me this is like this is a very this is very feminine um it's not sickly sweet it's sweet but it's not sickly sweet um i'm saying a lot of arms <laughs> it's very nice would i buy this um from this first smell absolutely i would it's very nice let me go to the website and we'll get rid of this and we'll read the notes and we'll see what it has to say so um so you know this perfume comes under floral which yes you could say that um and i'll read the description for you and you can tell me what you think as well so let's read it <laughs> baskets of berries piled high with fruit Though for every fruit comes another one, another was eaten. Really? With a smile like that, how could you do anything other than forgive? Vanilla cream tempers tartness, the perfect combination. <laughs> well, it is very nice. Did I smell vanilla? Probably. Um, it was nice. It wasn't, it was sweet, but it was mellow at the same time. And I was, I, like I said, I'm not a perfume connoisseur, but I would assume that that vanilla then breaks down through the sweetness and that's why it was nice um and just remember as well these are first uh what would you say um reviews i've never smelt that perfume before my instant reaction is i really like it so that's not even on skin so um i know from personal experience you can smell something and you know it can smell one thing on a, a cardboard like or paper and it can smell a completely different um, way when you actually put it on your skin. And I know as well from personal experience, everyone has their own skin chemistry, if you want to say that. And everything can smell slightly different on everybody. So I would say, yes, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm not going to spray it unless that's my favourite. At the end, I'll spray it on myself. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I can tell you straight away that it's a perfume that I'll enjoy. I think everyone would probably enjoy if they like that kind of thing. So reading more, perfume stimali, eau de perfume, perfume, <laughs> is a green floral fragrance, feminine, sweet, true, with a moderate longevity and similarly moderate silage, sillage, sillage, <laughs> Melora is a beautiful choice for daytime wear. Perfumes de Mali, Melora, Eau de Parfum. Immediately brings to mind fresh berries, which it did, with vanilla and musk bringing certain smoothness to this rich floral fragrance. Sophisticated, fresh, with a rounded creaminess that is heavenly, which is a heavenly fragrance, which is well balanced. I added words there because it wasn't reading very well. <laughs> okay, so that's number one. Uh, perfumes to Mali, Melora, love it. Yeah, highly recommend. So let's move on to number two. So number two I have here. And the brand is La Artisan Perfumer. Perfumer or Perfumer. I could be saying it wrong. Please, if I be butcher the word, and I've seen this in other videos, you can hammer me for it. I don't mind because that's how I pronounce words. So go for it. 
Um, Champs du Bay or Dubois. No, it's not Dubois. I'd say du Bay. Um, so La Artisan Parfumer Champs du Bay. And this is the sample here. Very cute. And I'm going to take it out. And I'm going to put that little piece of paper there. And I'm going to grab another piece of paper. And I'm going to spray it on the piece of paper. <laughs> and see what I think. So, again, I have never smelt this fragrance. This is the first time I'm smelling this. This should be interesting. Try not to spray it on my laptop. <laughs> Oh, I can smell it already and I haven't even smelled the paper. <laughs> mm. I don't like it straight away in the sense that I love the other one straight away. This smells powdery is the first word that comes to mind and that could be the wrong description for this type of perfume, but that's what I... Straight away, it's not fresh and light. It, well, the other one wasn't particularly light, but it wasn't fresh. It feels, smells more per, um, powdery. I don't know what that first smell is. Is it lavender? I know this really, and this is probably really bad, but it smells like an older woman's perfume. It doesn't smell like a perfume that, like, any age could wear it smells more like an older perfume oh, do i like it it's not bad i don't think i don't hate it but i don't really like it either <laughs> which is interesting um let's try it one more time yeah i don't like it <laughs> but that's okay you don't have to like everything do you let's read the notes off the libertine or libertine website so we're talking about champs du bay du bay du bay and this falls under floral and citrus fruity accords so when i talk about and most people who do these reviews and when you talk about floral you know what that means but on this website, they describe floral as the exquisite notes of freshly cut flowers and heady bouquet. And this also includes citrus fruity accords, which in their interpretation, zesty, refreshing citrus blended with delicious fruity aromas. Mm. So this is the description. Ah, okay. I just read the top notes. Did I read the top notes in the other one? No, I didn't. I'll go back to that. Did it have top notes? No, it did not. So there you go. It just had like a description. So that's all right. So for this one, it says the top notes are Nashi Pear, Bergamot, Pink Rhubarb. I think it's the pear. That's the first, like you do smell that quite strong, but it, I don't know if you've eaten a nashi pear, and it's been a really long time since I've eaten a nashi pear. Uh, I couldn't even tell you. Um, probably like twenty years. <laughs> when yeah, uh, I yeah, I was going to talk about my past, but uh, yeah, I used to have a fruit shop. We won't go into it, but um, yeah, it's been a long time since I've smelled. And I, I, yeah, it does smell like pear. But nashi pears, yeah, you can eat a really nice nashi pear, but most of the time that I find they were average. They weren't that nice. I, but they're very crispy. Um, if you like crispy pears, you know how you get those, like I don't know what, I can't even remember normal the name of normal pears. You know, they all obviously have their own um, names. But most people, you know, you wait till a pear is soft and you eat it. Nashi pears are quite firm. They're really hard. I digress. So bergamot, I don't know. Heart notes, blackberry, raspberry, white jasmine. See, for me, I've smelled other perfumes that have like blackberry and raspberry in them and straight away you can smell blackberry and raspberry. And 
yeah, this this could be me, but that's not what I get straight away. I think it's one of these things where I'm sure if I had it on my skin, I'd probably smell a bit more. And the other thing I'm noticing that the perfume is fading very quickly, where the other one, the Melora, didn't fade. It was on the paper, it was quite strong, not intense, but it was strong and lasting. Where this, I feel like I've already got a spray again. So I don't know what that says, but I don't really like it. <laughs> but you might like it, so you might want to try it. So let's go to number three and number three is oh i dropped the bottle excuse me Ha ha. number three is from creed i'm sure a lot of people in the youtube space and people who review perfume would know creed or own creed perfumes i don't have one um, I know they talk it up, so that'll be interesting to smell this. I also know that this is a male fragrance, um, but I also know that a lot of Creed fragrances, like a lot of the fragrances I talk about um, today and in the future, they can be noted as unix, unisex. <laughs> That's the word I'm trying to spit out. Um, but when I look at the website, it does say that it's a man's or a men's fragrance. So just keep that in mind. And I'm going to spray it on the card, actually, for this one. Let's see what it smells like. Because it'd be interesting to smell it if I like it, not just for myself, but for my husband. So let's go. Mm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what is the word I'm trying <laughs> Yeah, it's yet. Yeah. Oh, it's funny. Straight away, I like the sense that it's, you can smell it. It's quite strong. Um, it's not like a, a weak man's fragrance, but it smells like an old man's fragrance to me, straight away. Yeah, it smells... And I'm looking here at the, the notes as well. I'm going to smell it one more, uh, spray it one more time. It reminds me of something else. It reminds, not of Old Spice. It could be. We try to have it smelt for a very long time and, you know, most people uh, would know what the smell of Old Spice um, smells like. Um... Not heavy in any way, not like, um, you know, musky or anything like that. It doesn't smell musky to me. It's more like watery, the, the fresh side of things I would probably describe it as. I can tell you straight away, men might like this in the sense of it's quite fresh and it's it's strong smelling as in, you know, you put it on and you can smell it. It is changing seems to be getting deeper but to me straight away I can tell you it's not a fragrance that I would like for my husband it's it smells old it smells old and not old as in off old as in an older man would wear this and I'm thinking of like <laughs> I'm trying, I was gonna add a story I'm thinking of like you know an older man who I don't know, in their 50s or up and they think they're really attractive and they're not really and, yeah, they're going to the sailing club and they've got their um, loafers on and, you know, there's a slight breeze and they've got grey longish hair and they've got, like, the cardigan over their shoulders and, yeah. <laughs> if you like that kind of thing, good for you um do i no not really unless the man is really attractive but yeah it's uh, <laughs> it's not my kind of thing so it's not bad i like to is, is the word projection um i like how strong it is like it you can smell it which i like but yeah it's old men smell so yeah i'm not i'm not feeling it so 
Um, it comes under aromatic, just so you know, which is clean, fresh, and hubecuous. Aromatic notes of lavender and citrus. Ooh, okay, I don't know about that. Let's read the description and see what you think. Viking. Viking. A fiery man's fragrance that bottles the fearless spirit of boundless exploration for the modern man who goes against the grain. Really? Inspired by the incredibly crafted long ships. Mm, okay. And the picture on the bottle is one of those like old Viking ships. A centerpiece of the Viking Age and one of the greatest design feats of the ninth century. A symbol of voyage and undeniable perseverance long ships were carefully designed for the skilled seamen who embodied unbridled determination to conquer. See, that's what I'm saying. Now, when I read that, I'm thinking of the guy the, who's a sailor and he's got the cardigan on and he thinks he's really hot and he thinks he can conquer any woman in the world and... No. <laughs> Viking marks the brand's first major scent. Men's scent? Oh, okay. Since the introduction of the cult best-selling Aventus, Aventus, which a lot of people would know, in 2010. So the top notes for this uh, fragrance were Calibrian Bergamot, Sicilian Lemon, La Reunion Bay Rose, Pink Peppercorn. Mm, okay. Um, heart notes is peppercorn, Bulgarian rose, and peppermint. I don't even smell peppermint, so that's interesting. Base notes are Indian sandalwood, Haitian vetiver, Indian patchouli, and lavender absolute. If this is your thing, yeah, good for you. Um, I don't, yeah, it doesn't appeal to me. It, it's to me, it's yeah, like I'd said, that's. The sailor man, <laughs> the guy, the fancy yacht at, um, I don't know, on Sydney Wharf or something. It, yeah, it's not for me. Um, but it's quite nice in the sense of it's strong. I like the sense of projection, um, but it's just not a uh, fragrance that my I could see my husband wearing and I wouldn't want him to wear. That sounds bad, but no. <laughs> it's not. It's not happening. Uh, okay. We're already up to number four. Number four, mm -hmm. we have Mattia Premier. Is that how you pronounce it? I hope so. Mattia Premier. And the name of this fragrance is Cologne Cedrat or Cedrat. Cedrat. <laughs> and uh, let's open it. See, little sample. So cute. And uh, let's see what this one smells like before I look at anything. I try not to look at anything. And let's grab a piece of paper. And next time I do this, yes, I will uh, be more professional and I will actually have these little perfume strips. And uh, yes, it will look a lot more professional than a piece of paper that I've just ripped off a notepad. <laughs> For the purposes of this video, it doesn't matter because I'm just smelling them, okay? Let's see. Um, I'm trying to, yeah, something is still wafting. That creed is wafting and I don't like it. Go away. Go away! Um, let's spray this one. Oh. Oh. Hey. Whoa. Hey. Hmm. Straight away, I'm like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, what's going on? I don't know if I like it or not. I like it's kind of like straight away, I'm like, whoa, it got my attention. That's a good thing. Get this also smells like something, like, like a, another fragrance that I've smelled before, and I couldn't tell you, but it, it straight away reminds me of something. And I think for me, and for everyone who's watching these kind of videos, it's good to, you know, this is going to create a base in my mind of different scents that I like and those different notes. And I'm going to, as I, you know, post more videos, my knowledge of those notes and things and what they smell like is just only going to grow and you can grow with me. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's a good thing. 
I, I, I'm getting, oh. Okay, now it's changed because I let it go. Now, it's, now it smells really fresh. When it first it went, whoo, what was that? I kind of smell, I could be completely, yeah, citrus. It is citrus. Sorry, I just cheated. <laughs> I love that it is. I do smell citrus. I do like it. It says it's masculine. No, it says no, it says female. But a man could wear this. It does say female, but a man could wear this. Okay. Let's look at the description, shall we? Will we be interested? Yeah, citrus. <laughs> of course. That's quite obvious. That's that that you get, not just from, you know, me quickly spraying it, but that punch in your face and I like that. I, I Just side note, I'm probably more of a person who likes, not, yeah, I was going to say thick, heavy, mysterious, sexy, manly, strong, in your face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't mind these kind of scents though either. I like, um, and I tried one the other day and I will um, put that in the description box as well. It was from Memo and I can't think of the name and I'll look it up for a second. It, this is not the same as, but it's the same family in the sense it's citrus and it's bright and it's fresh and it's a summery scent. And here in Australia right now it's summery and, yeah, I like it. It does, very lemony is the strong smell that I get. Yeah, I like it. So let's read. Let's, let, let me read for you <laughs> um, the notes here. So let's read the description. I'll read it now. Madagascan black pepper oil. Interesting. And Argentinian pink pepper oil. I use to amplify the fresh spicy facet. Italian bergamot oil and para. I can't. <laughs> that was a bit Paragarian? Guian? Garian? Oh, yeah. Pagarian? I can't even. Yeah. I'm going to spell the word. And if you can pronounce this word, congratulations. P A R A G U A Y A N. Paragarian? I butchered that. Deal with it. Matt, <laughs> absolute. Emphasize the tea facet to prolong the freshness. Okay, well, that's really interesting, isn't it? Yes. As it, as I've let it go, and yeah, this is really interesting. I really like this. This is really nice because it's, like I said, I do like heavier um, perfumes, but this, this is a perfume. Could you like? I feel like. You know, you hop out of the shower and you put it on or you're going um, off to the beach and you put it on. It's just really fresh and light, but it's strong. It's not, you know, um, it doesn't, yeah, I really like it, <laughs> which is really good. So, yeah, it's, um, it could be male or female. I don't know. I reckon both male or female could wear this, to be honest. Um, yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> okay, so we have one more left. And I have smelt this one before. And I'm going to smell it again. Oh, actually, I was going to spray this one on me, but let me just go over this one and then we'll decide which one we're going to spray actually on my skin at the end. So this last one is... Dun, dun, dun. Mancera and I actually bought my first Mancera per fragrance perfume oh, fragrance is that what you say um and that's why yeah probably I've got a lot of these new samples as part of that purchase and I'll do a review on that uh first purchase from Mancera in another video I lost the words uh, but today we're going to be talking about this sample and this sample 
This is just the Libertine um, little card. It's got the sample inside. Mancera, red tobacco and red tobacco. When I was just a second ago, I was talking about those real strong, manly, sexy, heavy scents. This is one of them. Um, I smelt this the other day and I put it on. I liked it immediately. I will be buying this straight up unless Libertine want to send it to me. <laughs> I'm putting it out there. Um, I would love that. But, um, yeah, they won't do that. <laughs> I will purchase. I will purchase this because it is beautiful. It's right up my – right up um, – my alley, the sense of fragrances that I love. It's, I, when I first tried this, I did spray it on my skin. I didn't spray it on the car, I sprayed it straight on my skin and um, loved it immediately and thought to my, and I, ha, I did wear it during the day. I think it's one of those things where you could, if you are a more confident person with your fragrances and don't mind that real, kind of smell um, <laughs> um and you're confident in wearing that like i am very confident in wearing those because i love them um wear it in the day but i probably recommend if it's if it's something that you're new to and um you're not quite sure i probably would suggest wearing this at night so this is really like you're sexy i'm going out um i'm mysterious yeah, I was going to say other things. I was going to swear then, oh, but I better not do that. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so first of all, I'm going to get a piece of paper and I can tell you straight away this is really intense. As in, I remember I put one spray on that arm and one spray on that arm and it lasted for hours and which is not which you want don't you like for me you want you want to spray on a little bit and you want your perfume to last so it was really good um the other thing is that it is quite intense so a little goes a long way i wouldn't be just like going to town and spraying it all over so if you want to you can um go for it but yeah just beware that if you do that um yeah you, it's quite strong and um the second thing is i know that my husband liked this or he could smell it straight away and he liked it but he did also i think the reaction he might have had to it is that later that night he's like what's that smell what's that smell and as he liked it but i think it was starting to irritate him in the sense it was quite strong um so yeah again just beware so i'm just going to spray one because it's that potent and I can't even spray it, it's that potent. <laughs> Let me see, where's the little... Oh, there we go. That was really hard, wasn't it? Oh. You have to buy this, eh? It's so nice. Red tobacco, it's obvious that it's in the name. It's It smells like tobacco. It's. I used to... Uh, Many, many, many years ago, I was a smoker and there was a period of time that I used to also roll my own cigarettes when I was a little povo. And um, that's what, it's that kind of tobacco, like you, you roll these and you're rolling your own cigarette, not Port Royal, if anyone knows that <laughs> tobacco. It kind of reminds me of that kind of tobacco smell, but it's that was a little tiny bit sweeter. So just for reference, it's very, straight away you get the tobacco smell. It's so nice. I like it. But you do also have a sweetness as well. And I know when I smell it, when it settles down on your skin, you do have like a sweetness that comes through, which is really nice. It's not just, and, you know, most some people could smell this and you think of, you know, I was going to say Hugh Hefner, but that's completely wrong. I'm thinking of leather and I'm thinking of um, velvet. I'm thinking of velvet. I'm thinking of a man in a velvet suit, like a sexy young man in a velvet suit. It's red. 
or it could be blue. Like it's a little bit, it's not black. Do you know what I mean? Because he's more confident in not just wearing black. He's happy to wear red or blue. And oh, I just, the tobacco is just so nice. It's just, if you like that smell, oh, so good. It's really good. Um, I'm going to go to the website because <laughs> I'm getting distracted. I'm going to have to put this down. That's how strong it is, by the way. And excuse me for doing that. So this comes under woody amber, which is earthy woody notes mixed with spicy and sweet notes. And I'll read the description. Red is warm and memorizing, mesmerizing. Red tobacco is an incredibly, incredibly potent and sexy fragrance, agree 100% that mixes Cuban tobacco and spices, a true, a true heat wave. So when I smelt that here, I think it does. this doesn't give it justice in those um, other notes like the spices that you can smell. When it's on your skin, you can smell like cinnamon, yes, nutmeg, yes, for me. Oh, so good. Anyway. So top notes, saffron, cinnamon, incense, nutmeg, white peach, green apple, Nepalese oud, nice. Hard notes, leaves of patchouli, a delicate jasmine. Base notes, precious tobacco. Precious. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Amber, wood, woody notes, vetiver, vanilla pods, white musk. This is a, this is a banger. I'm going to say straight away, you should buy this, like, Beautiful fragrance. Definitely going to buy this. Definitely going to have this into my collection. This is one sexy, strong, manly. A man could wear this, a woman, if you're like me and confident enough and love those kind of smells, definitely get this and add this to your collection because it's stunning. And that's it. <laughs> that's, the, that's the five. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide which perfume I like the best. And today, the one that I think that I'm like, oh, I want to try that on my skin, is the Perfume de Mali. So remember we went back to that one. It was that berry one. And I'm going to spray that on my skin now. Let's see. Oh, yeah. It's just a happy, fresh, like, fruity fragrance. It's really nice. I like it a lot. Yeah. Highly recommend this one. And the other one that I wanted to spray, and I'm going to just put this here so I don't forget <laughs> which ones I like is the Cologne Sedrash or Sedrash, which was, um, if you remember, going back to that one was the citrus one. So I'm going to spray that on this arm. So I like spraying it. They're very, very different uh, fragrances, by the way. Now... Now that I've sprayed this under my skin, I still like it, don't get me wrong. And it's very, that real citrus, lemon is like that real strong lemon, which I, I love because I love citrus. I'll, I'll be interested and I'll try to remember or I will remember to do a pin comment at the end of the day now that I've sprayed these on to see how they change because... I know for all, like for the example, the Mancera, the red tobacco, you could, I put it on and it changed throughout the day, even to the end of the day. Um, obviously, you get the same notes, but it changes. Do you know what I mean? You get more of those base, base notes. It kind of smells soapy. <laughs> it, it reminds me of something too, like a soap that, it's not, not a cleaning soap. But it, it reminds me of something like that, like a soap that you use to clean, and I'm trying to picture it in my mind. This particular soap that you use when you used to use uh, to um, remove stains of your clothes. <laughs> that sounds really bad, but it's not, you know, like 
everyone has their thing, don't they? So let's not, you know, completely dismiss that. Um, let's spray this other one again. Yeah, that's beautiful. I'm going to spray that one in. Yeah, I think the winner for me today is Perfume de Mali. I mean, I know I like the red tobacco and I, like I said, I smelt that, smelt. <laughs> I did smell that before um, and I know I like that. So that was kind of biased in, in regards to the five reviews because I knew I'd like that one. But, oh, that's a beautiful perfume. It just, oh, like perfect for what I'm wearing today. So today I'm wearing a summery dress, florally dress. Um, you know, if you're going out with the girls and, you know, yeah, it's a summer day and you're going outside and you're having cocktails, you know, at, at some place that's near the water and it, there's a breeze and it's fresh and it's light and it is sexy. Like as in, I mean, I find heavier scents more sexual, but um, yeah, a hundred percent. If I go back to that, that would be my picker today. So Melora, and that was perfumes de Mali. Um, now. As a breakdown, just so you know as well, like I said, these were all samples and these were pro um, kindly provided by Libertine as part of my perfume purchase. So I'm just going to go to the website to so you have an idea. Every country is different in regards to costing. I live in Australia, just so you know, and um, these are the costs on, you know, in Australian dollars, just so you um, understand. So when I look at this, it's a 75 ml bottle. It's $399. Um, and yeah, perfumes de Mali. I mean, I know quickly looking here, Delina is probably one that you hear mentioned and people reviewing quite a lot. I've never seen a review of Melora. I'm sure they are on YouTube. So I'll probably be interested to see other people's opinion on this, but Yeah, I highly recommend it. Stunning, sweet, fruity, flirty, sexy, easy to wear. You could wear this every day. I've never smelt this perfume on anybody else. So, yeah, it certainly highly recommend. And I'd also like to highly recommend. Um, Libertine as well. Like I said, their service was excellent. I ordered these perfume blind, um, not these samples, but the perfumes I have purchased from them, blinds from reviews on YouTube, and their service was immaculate. They the the parcel came very quickly. There was a handwritten note in it, which I I think in all the times that I've purchased online, maybe there's only a couple of um sellers who actually left and have left handwritten notes um and they were one of them and was very sweet and not only that there were so many samples which was amazing which is good for them and good for me because not good for them because you know you get a, a chance to smell something you've never smelt before and go well i'm going to buy that like that perfume de Mali, like i want to buy that now um but there are other perfumes I want to buy <laughs> first. Um, so we'll see how we go with that. Um, but, yeah, it's one of those things where it's good for them because obviously it's going to attract you to go back to their um, store and say, oh, I've smelt this sample and now I want that. So anyone who does things like that, I think, is such uh, amazing customer service. And I was very pleased with my purchase from them highly guarantee them and i'll um obviously put all the details in the description box below but that's it um for today um five reviews five testers tell me what you think please subscribe comment down below and uh i'll see you in the next one <laughs> see ya <laughs>